Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's write VHDL code for 4 bit adder and we are using a full adder component here. This full adder is a single bit full adder. We are using 4 such full adders to write the VHDL code for 4 bit adder. So, first let us write a VHDL code for 1 bit full adder. The 1 bit full adder consists of you can see here XY are the inputs here and C in is the carry input and full adder is going to generate C out and sum. So let me start writing the VHDL code. So VHDL code will be start with entity. We need to write the entity block for this full adder. So let me call the name of this as full adder is entity full adder is here I need to declare the ports of this full adder within the bracket I am going to write X y and c in are the input ports so i am going to declare these as in bit so these are one bit one bit variables so i am just declaring it as in bit and now we have two outputs c out is the output and sum is the output so i am going to declare those as c out comma sum anyhow these two are single bit outputs so i am going to declare these two as out outputs with bit so this completes the port definition so i am going to close the bracket and end with the semicolon and now i need to end this entity end full adder here we need to use the same name as we have used over here so end full adder this ends the entity part now we need to write the architecture part so architecture architecture so let me give the name of the architecture as um, full underscore adder this is the different name I, name I am giving as compared to entity you can see architecture full underscore adder of which entity I am writing the full capital F U L L sorry added here adder is this is the architecture I am writing for this particular entity and now I need to start with begin within the architecture I am going to define my outputs so first let me write sum is equal to sum equals what is sum here x xr with y xr with another input c in this is the sum expression we are as it is we are implementing here in the VHDL code this is how we can write Similarly, I need to write C out. What is the expression for C out? C out will be equal to X and with Y. X and with Y or again Y and with C in or with X and with C in. So this is the expression we have for sum and C out. So I have implemented and then I need to end this architecture. So end full underscore adder. So I need to end with the semicolon. So this is the VHDL code for this becomes the VHDL code for one bit full adder. One bit full adder. Now my intention is to write a four bit full adder. So to get this four bit full adder I need to use four one bit full adders so let me show you the block diagram for that so this is the block diagram here you can see this is one bit full adder this is again a one bit full adder this is one bit full adder this is also one bit full adder here i am giving a naught b naught a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 as inputs these full adders are going to generate sum as well as carry i am just using the same full adder which i have designed with the entity name full sorry capital F full capital A adder as the entity name I am using here four times one time two time three time and fourth time now I need to write the VHDL code for this module by using this entity as a component so let me start with writing the entity entity and I am giving the name of the entity as adder entity adder is 
here i need to define which are the inputs and output ports so within the port definition port i am using a b as inputs here you can see these are my inputs a b so a b as input in but it is a vector bit underscore vector i am supposed to use bit underscore vector and the size is 3 down to 0 this is how i can define a b and also i have one more input called c i here this is c i or c in we can call this is also an input and this is bit type why because it is a single bit one and now i need to define the outputs which are the outputs here sum let me call this as yes we'll be having uh, four bits again out it is also a bit vector out bit vector again i need to define it as three down to zero why because here also i need to get s naught s1 s2 and s3 that's why i have defined like this and i have c out let me call it as c naught and i am going to declare it as out with single bit that's why it is bit itself so this is the last variable i am going to declare so i need to close this braces of the entity and end with the semicolon and now i need to end i need to end this entity adder so end add here adder this is the entity part so here i am going to write the architecture part so architecture architecture let me give the name of the architecture as adder underscore 4 addr underscore 4 of which entity of addr adder entity so i have defined the name of the entity is this is i need to start with begin so here i am using components right so to use the full adder component what i need to do first i need to define that component here so component what is the name of the full adder i have given full adder this is the name of the entity which i have used so i need to define those ports as it is ports which i have used as x comma y comma c in previously so i am utilizing as it is in bit and also we have outputs called c out and sum as outputs out these are in one bit so bit i am going to close the braces so this is the component i need to end the component here end component so what what this means i am using one bit component which is already defined as full adder previously this is the name of the entity now i am utilizing this full adder as four full adders one two three four so let me write that so and one more thing is that in between we have c1 c2 c3 which we have not defined yet so we need to define those signals these are signals why because these are just connecting the two modules in between we have a path here so that is signal so i need to declare that as signal c let me call it as c and it is a bit underscore vector type why because i need three signals here let me call it as a vector and three down to three down to one if i take three down to zero it becomes four bit so here it is three bit so i am writing it as three down to one so now i need to start instantiating this full adder four times so this full adder component so how to write for that so let me start this architecture part with a begin and here let me name it as fa0 so this is the first full adder this is the first full adder i am calling it as fa0 i am writing it so i need to use this component name which is the entity name as it is full add here as it is i am added here port map i need to use port map within the braces now i am connecting this a naught to the x of this full adder this b naught to the y of this full adder so first i need to write it as a is a vector so a of 0 comma b is a vector so then b is connected to y then we have c in 
in place of C in here we have C i. So I need to write it as C i comma the output of this one this is C 1 which is the signal which I have declared here. So this is C of 1 comma the output of this is S naught that is also uh, here we have declared it as a vector. So I am going to write it is S of 0. So this is how we can instantiate the full ladder, one bit full ladder. Now I need to have the second full ladder. Similarly, FA1 I am going to call. Use the same name, full ADDER port map. The second full ladder will be having A1, B1 inputs, C1 as out uh, input, S1 and C2 are the outputs. So for that, A of 1 comma b of 1 comma here the output is c of 1 so this is the output of the first full ladder will be given as input to this so i am using in place of c here it as c of 1 comma c of 2 is the output of this this c of 2 is the output of this comma output of that is sum is s1 this is how we can instantiate similarly we have one more full ladder uh, let me call it as FA2 full adder. This is the one bit full adder entity name. I am port mapping that entity with the four bit full adder inputs B of 2. Here, this C of 2 is the input, and output is C of 3 and S of 2. Right, that is the third full adder, and also we have one more full adder. Let me instantiate with full adder entity. Again, port map, port map, the last input bit A of 3, B of 3. Here, C of 3 is the input. And what is the carry output we have defined here? C naught. And also the output sum is S with a vector. So here it is C naught and here it is S of 3. This completes the four instantiations and here I am going to end the architecture. End the architecture name I am using here is adder 4. End adder 4. So this is how we can write the VHDL code for 4 bit full adder using 1 bit full adder modules. Here is the one bit full adder I have defined. Here we need to write libraries and all. I have just skipped that. This is the entity. This is the architecture for one bit full adder. I am utilizing this for the four bit design. Here is the entity of my four bit full adder with a, b and c in and s and c out are the variables and architecture. And I am using the component of one bit full adder here. This is one bit full adder. And I am instantiating that four times. These four are the instantiations. This is how we can write any bit full adder using one bit full adder. Thank you.